Hello. So tonight I thought we would talk a little bit more about guilt and how to deal with guilt and are you being guilted or is it genuine? It's a it's a tough topic sometimes because you know like you ever had that time when you actually like when you accidentally I don't know bumped into somebody or kicked somebody and you're like look out <laughs> that's when you're the one that actually did it that's comes from feeling guilty or feeling bad and just not knowing how to deal with it initially instead of just going oh sorry <laughs> um, I think we've all done that to a point but anyway so guilt is a weird thing and sometimes you feel guilty about things that run really deep and it can be things that are rooted in your childhood it can be things that happened early on in your relationship and you, and you and you've carried it with you for a long time and you, you you can't you can't suffer forever for something that you did in the past you can't all you can do is do whatever you can to make amends we've talked about that a little bit in the in the one minute short that i did before but making amends can mean a lot of different things making amends can say i'm sorry and being sincere making amends can be trying to make it up to a person in some way and doesn't mean you're going to get their trust back though so you have to be aware of that and you can't get mad at people so if, if, when you apologize and you're sincere about it you have to understand that there's ramifications for doing things that cause you guilt and those ramifications can and often do end in distrust and not always. Sometimes people are okay and they want to forgive inherently because they care about you or whatever. But not always. It doesn't always happen that way. And you have to you have to accept that and you have to be able to move on if someone is unwilling to forgive you. You have to be willing to genuinely apologize, to genuinely genuinely let it go, and know that you did your best to try to build that relationship again. But it could take time. It may never be the same as it used to be, and you have to accept that if you are at the root cause of it. Now, another thing, though, that often happens in relationships is that you have people, particularly when there's narcissism that's involved, you have people that will try to control you using guilt. And I, it is one of those things that it's 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 tough especially if you fall prey to it or you've been a victim of it for a long time and narcissists are really really good at making people feel bad narcissists are really good at using your triggers and knowing what hurts you to try to better themselves or their position or whatever they are trying to get you to do and there's lots and lots and lots of, of information online about narcissism, but it's one of the most difficult relationships that you can work within and often one of the most unhealthy relationships that sometimes you have to put your hand up and you have to say, okay, I'm going to keep this person at a distance. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. It doesn't mean that you don't want to have some kind of a relationship with them, but it can mean that it can't, that you can't have a close relationship with them because they're just going to keep hurting you. So learn to recognize the difference between, okay, I did something, I have some guilt about it, I've apologized and I've tried to make amends and I'm moving on, and know, know the difference between that and someone who's trying to control you by making you feel guilty about something that maybe you sh shouldn't even feel guilty about at all. But also, even if you did for a minute, they don't have a right to control you for the rest of your life. So just remember that I'm Holly, I'm your fun sister. Please like, subscribe, and share.